Before we create the customer's model, we need to first create a folder inside the model folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and create that folder and call it Mart. More about the type of model that we store in here later. For now, just create the folder. Hit create, expand here. And in that folder, we then create a new file. Customers.sql. Create that. Inside this file, we can then define the logic for our customers model. In this model, we are then going to reference a couple of already existing models, such as the staging customer model itself. So we, are, we have to reference this one as first one. So let's do some select star from. And now we want to reference an existing model. And for that, we have to use the Jinja syntax or the macro syntax. We have to open two brackets, type in the ref function, and then give the name of the model that you want to reference. In our case, stg underscore tpcds customers. And this is how you reference an existing model. So if you take this and then compile the code, dbt is then going to go inside your data platform and find the name of the relations or of the table that you are referencing here. In my case, it's taking the project ID, the data set name, and the table name inside that data set. But from here, it just looks like this, which is quite awesome. We can preview the selection. And there you have it. We have results from the staging customer table. The next thing we have to do, we are going to give this one an alias, let's say C, and we'll then join that with another table. We could join that with our customer demographics model. If you take a look at the definition of the customer model, you will see that there's a column here named C current CD demo that reference the customer demographic primary key. So we can join both tables based on this key. Let's just do that. In this case, you want to do a left join. And then we have to reference the table also. So two brackets, the ref function, and the name of the model we want to join on TPCDS customers demographic and we give it a name cd the join condition and here we then have the join condition we know that the customer table is related to the customer demographics table based on this column and this is the primary key of the customer demographics table we can compile this and you can see it's just going to do the same thing as before. It's going to take the name of our model from the data platform and build a standard join with it. And we are then going to do the same with all the tables that are referenced by the customer table. So there's one thing I can do before I show you the final statement. We can do C star like this and CD star like this. This means we are selecting all the columns available inside the staging customer and also all the columns available inside the customer demographics model. You can also list the name of all the columns, which is what I'm going to do. And I already prepared the script for that. So let me paste that here. The script is simply selecting all the columns from the customer model and also from the customer demographic model. However, we still have more tables to join, so I'm going to do that. I paste the edited version in here. It's simply selecting all the columns from the customer model and also all the columns from the demographics model. But this is the most important thing that you wanted to learn in this lecture. That means how to use the ref function to reference an existing model. You can simply type from, open two brackets, specify the function and then the name of the model and dbt will do the rest for you everywhere in your code where you can use a table name you can simply use the ref function to refer to that model and this allows you to build a nice deck also known as directed icyclic graph of your model 
let's complete and add all the other tables in here so that our customer model is ready. And this is how the final model looks like. Down here you can see that we are referencing from multiple models. And every time you are using the ref function, so refer to those existing models. Down here this is nothing fancy, this is just a couple of left join in SQL and you should know how this works. We are just taking tables and joining them based on a foreign key. Here we had to join the date table twice because we need two different values. Therefore, we have one time we are referencing the date table as D and the second time as D2 just to get the ship to date and the sales state. Now let's save this and then do a dbt run to then build the model. The dbt run command was successful. That means if we then go up here, we can click on lineage. And now we can then see a lineage of our customer's model. We can see that it depends on a couple of sources and on a couple of staging model. And this is where the ref function is quite powerful. The first thing that dbt will do is to first build the sources and then build the staging models before it builds a customer model because it knows that they, there is dependency between the models. You can also see that with the direction of the arrow over here. You can see this one goes into this one and then goes into that one. In short, this is simply how you can use the ref function to refer to other existing model and then dbt will build a nice directed executive graph showing us the dependencies between the different models. One thing that you can do and should always do is to go into the documentation and read a little bit more about the ref function. But for now, you know how to use it. See you in the next lecture.